I have with me the latest three, T3 magazine and I'm reading the review for the MacBook Air, Apple MacBook Air with the M1 chip and this article is talking about how fast the M1 chip is. It's simply screamingly fast for a mid-price lightweight machine. Actually, it's screamingly fast for almost any laptop. The M1 chip makes that a reality. And then this article says, that's all paired with storage that's incredibly fast too. And then another sentence, open the lid and by the time you are, you've lifted it, the screen is waiting for you to put your finger on the scanner, which instantly unlocks it. Apps open immediately. Working with files is lag free. Website loading is as fast as your internet can handle. The world is talking about the new M1 Apple chip. In fact, I've been blessed. I'm, I've been deeply humbled and blessed when a person who, who lives in India, who does not like to be named, recently gifted my ministry, our ministry, with a MacBook Pro, with an M1 processor. I'm grateful to God. But I'm talking about this new technology that makes work on a laptop super fast. And the young people love it. The Google generals love it. In fact, we, we hate it when our laptops lag or our phones lag. And we love it when our gadgets are fitted with the latest processor, which makes everything super fast. But when it comes to the things of God, when it comes to the matters of soul, we, we go slow, we procrastinate. It's as if we invited to our lives a slow processor when it comes to things that concern eternity. This should change. The Bible tells us that. In fact, when we look at Luke chapter 24 and verse 12, the Bible says, Peter, however, got up and ran to the tomb. Peter, who once tried to stop Jesus from going to the cross, now has had a transformation. He's now running towards the person who died on the cross. Luke 24 and verse 12, Peter, however, got up and ran to the tomb, bending over. He saw strips of linen lying by themselves and he went away, wondering to himself what had happened. What had happened? Jesus had died for him on the cross. Jesus rose again. And this Jesus is inviting him and Jesus is inviting everyone who's hearing the sound of my voice not to procrastinate, not to have that another one hour with porn, not to have that another one hour in that illicit affair, not to have that another one second in the pleasures of sin, but to turn from it and come to the foot of the cross. And when you come to the foot of the cross, Jesus' blood cleanses you. You find meaning and purpose in life. And there's a spring in your step. And there's a joy that you get, which money cannot buy, the world cannot give and the devil cannot take away. Experience this joy even during this Lent season. Journey with me as I bring news wrapped Lent devotions in the year 2021. And if you and if, you're, if you are willing, and I believe you will not procrastinate after you hear this devotion, which started with the M1 chip, Apple M1 chip, and talked about procrastination and its dangers. If you hear, my, if you do this right now, Close your eyes and say in the repentant heart, Jesus, I'm a sinner. Please wash me, cleanse me. My sins are unprintable, but your grace is boundless. And it was expressed on the cross. Cleanse me with your blood. From today, I will follow you. Give me grace. Give me the life that you talked about. Life with capital N. In your name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for following. Bye-bye.